Live, Greater West Bloomfield's dedicated update show. Events, businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to the Splash Live. Good morning and welcome to the Splash Live. See, today now you can see our entire studio and our beautiful Splash desk. Now, I've been working at this desk every day, but we didn't have it all configured up for you in my tiny studio. Tyler's got the big studio, I got the little studio, but we didn't have it all configured up. But a good job by Jared, um, who produces this show, to get all this situated while I was on the road for a couple days. And here we are in our entire Splash studio. So thank you very much for joining us right here on the Splash Live. Dave Scott here with 90 minutes of live television. Well, not all mine. I'm here for 30 with the Splash Live. Tyler Keefe checks in at uh, 10 o'clock with the Oakland County Megacast. Oakland County, West Bloomfield, the state of Michigan. He's got it all today at 10 o'clock. It's an hour and a half of live video each and every day for you right here to kick off your day in Civic Center TV. Easy to watch us across all of our platforms and that includes Comcast Channel 15. If you're an AT&T subscriber in the area, you'll find us in Channel 99. Great place to watch all of our programming as over 50,000 people do every year is right in our CivicCenterTV.com website. Go there, you'll find our live stream and a whole lot more information. Also, every day on social media. We're live on Facebook this morning and also live over on YouTube. So you can check us out one of those locations. And we have our, yes, we have our very own local radio station, 89.3 Lakes FM. So when you get in your car, if you're heading off for the day, Tune in. Our show repeats several times throughout the day, too, on all of these outlets, and our archives are available. So uh, tune in anytime, and we appreciate it. First thing we like to do every day is take a look at the weather, and that is going to be an absolute joy and pleasure to do today. 64 degrees already. Wow. Already 64. Is that true? Really? 83, is that 83? Wow, 83 degrees, thank you. 83 degrees uh, is our high today and sunshine. And then tomorrow wasn't supposed to be quite as nice, but Friday, 81 degrees. And then 80 on Saturday. Maybe a little bit of rain over the weekend, but not too bad. So uh, the weather folks tell me we are 30 degrees above where we should be. So get out and enjoy this summer-like, midsummer-like weather. It's not going to last. We're going to get back to the 60s next week, but do get out and enjoy it. And one of the things that I like to do, maybe you like to do when it gets this nice, is go get a bite to eat outside at one of our sidewalk cafes there in Kego Harbor, of course. Uh, the Lodge, they've got all of their tables set out out in front. You know, one of, if, if there was one good thing that happened during COVID, it was all of this outdoor seating that we had. And a lot of people kept it like the lodge and uh, so get out the lodge is just one example in kego of the many places you can go and get a nice bite to eat today for lunch or for dinner tonight or have an adult beverage um, outside get out enjoy the weather while it is nice another thing to do while it's really nice is get out and do some physical activities, walk our trails in West Bloomfield, get out and ride your bike, maybe do a little bit of work in the yard. But a reminder, the Tree Runner West Bloomfield Adventure Park, which your kids, I'm sure they absolutely love it. They haven't been there. They should get out there and enjoy it. That is, it's open and it's a great thing to do on these warm sunny days. Located at 6200 Drake Road, you can zip, you can climb, you can swing through the trees just like this guy. <laughs> I do the Tarzan yell for you right now, but it's too early in the morning and I probably wouldn't be able to make it through the rest of the show. What's it really like over there? We've got a video. Let's roll it from the West Bloomfield Adventure Park. The 
The West Bloomfield Tree Runner Adventure Park, for those of you listening on the radio, great video there. I'll get your kids excited when you get home. Check it out on CivicCenterTV.com. And what a fun thing to do. That's, of course, at Drake and Maple Roads right behind the Jewish Community Center. We've got, we should dig it up, uh, Jared. We've got some old video of our crew going out there and uh, taking a ride. And maybe we can dig that up and play that for you over the next couple of days. Let's shift gears and talk West Bloomfield history. Anytime we do that, we talk about the Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society, and they invite you to join them for light refreshments and some really interesting information from 1 to 4 o'clock on April 23rd to celebrate the completion of their Four Communities Exhibit and the official opening of the Francis Gag Gallery. The Four Communities Exhibit features the cities of Kegel Harbor, Sylvan Lake, the city of Orchard Lake Village, and West Bloomfield Township. You get a little taste of it right there. Um, get out, support, and enjoy the Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society. Hopefully we'll see you over there. And uh, great job by that whole crew. Uh, one of the amazing things that they've done recently is uh, giving you some visibility of this amazing home. This is Paul Wilbur's home on Pine Lake. Totally restored this gorgeous home. It was an auto baron's um, house right off Pine Lake, one of the big, beautiful houses on Pine Lake. And he spared no expense, you can see a couple of little pictures there, to restore the home as accurately as possible while making the minor revisions and conveniences for technology and whatnot that we need in our modern era and age. But it is a beautiful restoration and an amazing house. And his story goes beyond just that house. He, he really has studied everything he needed to, to get the house historically correct, but also in doing so, um, understood and researched the history of our area, especially Pine Lake and, and all the lakes area. Put together a great presentation. We, we saw it live at the West Bloomfield Library like three weeks ago, and it's taken us a little time to get the video all together of that presentation. It's 99% done, and I promise you Monday on Civic Center TV we'll be able to start airing that. So look for that, and uh, we'll have a tease of that, and we'll get Paul on the show next week, talk a little bit about it. Really nice guy, and um, he put on a great presentation. You're really going to want to see it, not just about the restoration of the home, but about the history of our entire area transitioning to uh, you know, automobiles, um, talking about how people got here and how we were, you know, we were the up north of that era. So more on that coming up and we'll have that show for you available next week. Here's another thing I found on Facebook talking about history today from Karen Kudala Tanner. She had this postcard she pasted and this is a postcard from the past, Sylvan Lake Summer Life. Summer Lake at Summer Life at Sylvan Lake. Um, is that postcard. It's a beautiful postcard. It was made for sale at the Back in Still Bookstore in downtown Pontiac, and I just thought that was a really great piece of history, a picture from many years ago about Sylvan Lake. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. and we return, a couple of major events are coming up in May. I mean, May is packed full of all kinds of events here in West Bloomfield. A couple notable ones, though, um, certainly the Michigan Week celebration on the 12th and the annual Youth Assistance um, Awards. We're going to find out all about that when we talk to the folks from Youth Assistance in just a minute. Don't go away. Dave Scott, the Splash Live, back right after this. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Let's savor these moments. Made possible by the COVID-19 vaccine. Keep the dining out going by keeping yourself protected and your COVID-19 vaccines up to date. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click watch live. In your web browser, click on the options tab in the top right and find the accessibilities tab. 
Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. Wake up, Greater West Bloomfield. Start your mornings with a splash and tune in for the splash live. Get acquainted with people, places, and activities that are live, local, and for you. First thing in the morning, weekdays at 9.30 a.m. on our Civic Center TV YouTube page or watch us live at Civic Center TV or on Facebook. The Splash Live, Greater West Bloomfield's live update show. And now, back to The Splash Live. Good morning, welcome back to The Splash Live. Dave Scott in our Civic Center TV Splash Studios. Thank you very much for joining us on this unbelievable, warm, 80 plus degree day here in West Bloomfield. Who'd have thought that would have happened? One of our one of our annual events that means so much to the community is uh, put on by West Bloomfield Youth, Youth Assistance, and they are proud to host the 27th annual Youth Recognition Award Ceremony. Mark your calendar. It's Wednesday, May 10th at the West Bloomfield Middle School. Joining us now is Connie Knoyton, Office and Executive, I'm sorry, Office and Event Coordinator for West Bloomfield Youth Assistance. And the guy who is a regular on the show, he's on here more than I am, for goodness sakes, Kurt Lawson, the West Bloomfield Police Department. Good morning, you two. Connie, thank good you very morning, much. Dave. Thank you very much good for being morning. with us, Kurt. Good to see you. So, Connie, talk about West Bloomfield Youth Assistance a little bit before we get into your event. And for people that may not be familiar with it, tell us what you do. What I do is I work in the office with a wonderful caseworker. Her name is Lisa Shields. And we take referrals, of course, uh, for students that have been referred to us. I do a lot. I'm planning this event, as you know, um, or helping to plan it. And I'm excited about it. I really am. Uh, we're hoping that this event will be one of the biggest events um, and very successful. That's what we're hoping for. Well, it's going to be a great year at a great location, Kurt Lawson. Uh, you know, we're going to be over at the middle school in the auditoria there, which is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And Kurt, this gives us an opportunity to recognize youth that have been making a difference in our community. Absolutely. And that's what Youth Assistance is all about. It's about helping youth, helping families within our community. And uh, we're going to recognize youth that uh, have done above and beyond, have gone above and beyond volunteer service, personal growth, uh, leadership. We want to recognize them to the, the school community, to their parents, and just to the community in general. Well, and I have the pleasure doing what I do, of being around so many of our students at the middle school and at the high school level. And, you know, I got to tell you, they, they impress me so much. Connie, you must find the same thing. The, these stories that you're working on that we're going to tell, they're, they're, they must have some impact on you because they certainly do on me when I talk Absolutely. to these students. Talk about that. Absolutely. They have done, uh, these youths have done a wonderful job of making an impact on the community. Um, a lot of them have uh, done well-being checks. They have uh, been volunteering their time out in the community, making making an impression. And we this is not going to go unnoticed, okay? And that's why every year we recognize and honor these youths because they need to know that we appreciate their help. We appreciate what they're doing. And they are making a big, big difference. Trust me, they are. And Kurt, it's got to also be nice on that night when we have all the dignitaries there and and the, the students and the youth from our community are recognized and then they get to, sh to shake the hand of some important public official. Um, I, that probably really hits home for them and you've had a chance to see that for many years. Well, I've been part of this program for about the last 10 years and really of all the things that Youth Assistance does and they do a lot of things. They do parenting on the go, family education. We just purchased therapy dogs for the West Bloomfield School District. We have community partnerships, but this night on May 10th is one of my favorite nights where we can really be in awe of these students and uh, really have a positive outlook on the future. And it's, it's a bright future with these students. 
Well, and Youth Assistance does such a good job, Connie. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but, you know, it's important that we have well-rounded adults. And well-rounded adults are people that, you know, get involved, volunteer, help others, are the first ones there when somebody needs a helping hand. And that's what you're reinforcing with this program. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, Dave, this year, uh, Chief, which is a dog that is uh, one of the dogs that go in the school and, you know, kind of help the students. You know, there's been trying times um, this year with the gun shoot shooting and things of that nature. So we have Lisa as well as uh, Chief, that's his name, he <laughs> will also be receiving <laughs> an award. So we're, we're excited. I'm, I'm, I, I can't say how excited we are. Hey, Lawson, is there a deputy chief dog? I, I don't know. We got to find one, right? I think, I think we're going to get one. I think it sounds like a great idea. <laughs> you know, and, and Connie, I appreciate it's a sensitive subject, but I, I appreciate you bringing up, you know, the, the trying times that we're in. And, mm -hmm. and just earlier this week, we had the prosecutor from the county and uh, Chief Patton and others talking about gun safety. Great program put on by the schools. But, you know, if we're going to do everything we can to curb the crisis that we have in America, we mm -hmm. there's a lot of different ways to do it. And one way is to be there to help these students uh, before they might run into a problem and also recognize the great things that they're doing in the community. This is just as important as, you know, telling people how, what to do in the, in the middle of an emergency, don't you think? Absolutely. All right. Uh, Kurt, anything else you want to add about the program? Well, I do want to say that Connie and Lisa Shields are, are new to our organization, and really, they have been fantastic. They're working tirelessly, not only for our 27th annual award ceremony, but our upcoming food truck rally that's going to be coming up in June. So uh, hats off to them. They've been fantastic, and I love working with them. All right. Thank very you, good. Kurt, for those kind <laughs> remarks. <laughs> well, you're, you're in good company there, Connie, you know. And by the way, Kurt, I just want you to know that your video of us walking around the inner sanctum of the police department in the middle of your construction is trending really hot on the Internet right now. <laughs> so. Well, I appreciated the three minutes head up, heads up you gave me to do that. So. Yeah, that was about <laughs> it. You pulled it off really, really nicely. So we'll be there. It's the 10th of May. And it's going to be at the middle school. Another great opportunity to get out. Uh, do people need to buy tickets in advance or make any kind of advanced preparations? No, uh, Dave. They have to RSVP. And I will give you the email address that they can RSVP at. That's Connie at WBYouthAssistance.org. And please, if they would like to volunteer their time as um, far as helping out West Bloomfield Youth Assistance Program, tell them to feel free to um, browse our website, which is www.wbyouthassistance.org. All right, very good. Connie Kadoyton, thank you very much. Kurt Lawson, thank, thank you very you. much. Great to have you here. We'll talk thank again you. before the event, all right? Thank you, Dave. All right. Make Thanks, it a great Dave. day, you two. We're going to take a quick break. We've got more to get to. A lot of news going on in our community this morning. We'll be back more with Splash Live after this. We'll be right back with the Splash Live. What's happening around you? Hear about state events, businesses, and from the people behind them on The Megacast, an hour-long TV, radio, and streaming show keeping you informed on the day-to-day -day news. Listen in on talks with volunteer groups, documentarians, and financial advisors Monday to Friday with your host, Tyler Keeft. Catch The Megacast weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM, and streaming on MyMyTV.com. There are many different kinds of noses. Our noses can sniff out all kinds of things. Good things and bad things. Your nose knows if those sniffles are just a cold, allergies, or COVID-19. So swab it, test it, it's good to know. Back to the splash. 
Live. Well, good morning and welcome back to the Splash Live here in our Splash Studios. Dave Scott saying good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. 80 degrees today. Get out and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful weather. So um, earlier this week, and we just referred to it just a moment ago, earlier this week uh, we had a program talking about gun safety at the West Bloomfield Middle School. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald was there along with Chief Mike Patton. There's pictures from the event Tuesday night at the Gun Safety Forum put on by the school district. Great job, school district, to put this on. Uh, McDonald said on Facebook this morning uh, her message throughout the presentation centered around treating gun violence like the public health crisis that it is in our country. She went on to say our office and the Gun Violence Commission are working diligently towards finding meaningful solutions in combating gun violence throughout our community and beyond and uh, she was uh, right on target by congratulating the West Bloomfield School District and putting on that program. Good to have the prosecutor, our chief of police, and the others that presented on Tuesday night. Hopefully you were there and had an opportunity to be a part of it. Talk about great work going on in and around Metro Detroit. How about these guys? They are out volunteering today and distributing food to 10 mobile pantries all across our area, including some in Oakland County. A reminder to support your local Food pantry, one that comes to mind right now, of course, Forgotten Harvest. They do a great job, but all the food pantries around, around Metro Detroit um, are, are working hard to make sure that people don't go hungry, and we salute you. It is National Public Safety Telecommunications Week, and uh, we are honoring their service. Thanks to all the dispatchers here in West Bloomfield. They work so hard. Uh, they're the ones that really make a difference when you call 911. Um, and if you're in, in trouble, maybe you can't even communicate really well, they're there, they're helping you, and they are the ones that are right there to get you to help as quickly as we can. Our dispatchers, we salute you. Veterans, interesting program going on in Sylvan Lake. Uh, happened earlier uh, this week or late last week, but I wanted to remind you that this is an ongoing program and all area veterans are welcome to join the Veterans Coffee Social that happens in Sylvan Lake. So if you're interested in coming to one of these future events, um, get a hold of Greg Miller. Greg Miller puts his telephone number on Facebook and it is 313-575-2753. And uh, this goes on at 1615 Lakeview, home right on Sylvan Lake. Not not necessarily at the community center, but at that location. Nice way for veterans to get together and have some informal conversations and to just enjoy each other's company. Debbie Clerk, the West Bloomfield Township, Debbie Binder, the West Bloomfield Township Clerk, uh, is asking for your help to become a West Bloomfield election inspector. You have an opportunity to give back to the community. You'll actually be able to make some money, enhance your resume if you're a college student looking for some experience. And if you're retired and you just want to make a little bit of money and, and maybe even more importantly, have an opportunity to interact with some people, this is a great program. If you'd like to get involved, all you need to do is call the uh, clerk's office. Her telephone number is 248-451-4848, 248-451-4848. Four five one four eight four eight, and you could send uh, email to election worker at wbtownship.org. That's pretty good without my glasses way out there. <laughs> so we invite you to uh, to be a part of that. So I want to continue to promote this amazing musical that they'll be putting on at the West Bloomfield High School and uh, kind of a unique name. It is called You're in Town. That's right. It is a, a comedy musical and the presentation's coming up just a couple of weeks. Uh, They're working really hard to get it already. It's going to happen April 27th, 28th and 29th at the beautiful auditorium of the West Bloomfield High School, of course, located right there on Orchard Lake Road. What is your in town? Well, they say it's a Gotham-like city. A terrible water shortage caused by a 20-year drought has led government enforced ban on private toilets. Kind of a, a city, con a silly concept, but a lot of fun for a musical. And I think, do we have the theatrical trailer available still? Okay, good. So um, let's roll. Uh, a, a glimpse of what this is about. This is obviously the Broadway presentation trailer, but it give you an idea of what they're working on over the high school.
Well, hello there. And welcome to your in town. Not the place, of course. The musical. Here in town, the place is, well, it's kind of a mythical place, you understand? It's filled with symbolism and things like that. Say, uh, Officer Lockstock? Mm -hmm. Did you say you're in town? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're in town? Really? Yeah. What kind of a show is that? You're in town? Well, all you really need to know, little Shelly, is it's the kind of musical that's adored by audiences and critics. It's filled with side-splitting comedy. It's a love story, people singing. It is a musical, after all. The kind of musical that makes you laugh or cry and laugh again. Well, this is your in town. This is your in town. Well, some heroes, your in town. It's in this sense of your in town. All right, well, there you have the theatrical trailer. You're in town is the production they're going to be doing this year at Westville High School. You can get over there and see it. It should be a lot of fun. I was just thinking back. Let's see, what musicals did we do uh, when I was in high school? I think it was The Wizard of Oz and, I don't know, Sound of Music, one of those. So uh, times have changed. I get it. It should be a lot of fun. Sounds like a, a, a real fun presentation, a good challenge for the students, too, because doing musical comedy and pulling that off, it isn't easy. So that'll be great training, and I'm sure they'll do a great job. Looking forward to that presentation at the high school. It, even if you don't have, you're not associated with the kids or anything in school, get over there. It'll be fun. A great local production on stage at the West Wilfield High School, and uh, get over and enjoy it. On our calendar of busy events coming up in May, of course, is the annual Michigan Week celebration. One of the, the biggest events of the year, recognizing and honoring those who volunteer in our community. This year we'll have some 250 to 300 people assemble for a breakfast on the morning of May 12th. We'll get going at 7 o'clock early so we can get everybody fed, get through the entire program, and then get you off and back to school or work. Uh, there'll be a sports theme this year, which is gonna be a lot of fun, and we hope you join us. We're gonna be at Temple Israel this year. They've got a great facility there, tons of space, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, this year's Michigan Week celebration. This is our 51st annual. Last year was the big anniversary um, over at Wabik. This year is, the, of course, the uh, 51st. Just as important, the Michigan Week Committee is made up of, of, of 20, 30, 40 people that work really hard on this event. And now is the time to register. Go to michiganweek.org and uh, register. Tickets will absolutely sell out. So if you want to be there and join us for the Michigan Week celebration, get online, get some tickets, and do it today. All right, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for tuning in this morning. Enjoy the unbelievable weather, the 80-degree temperatures. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning right here on the Splash Live. Thank you.